If you have a part that contains awkward features that makes it difficult to print without using a ton of supports, well, today we're going to be looking at how to section up parts in order to break them apart and print them in multiple different bodies. Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to be talking about how to section our parts before uploading them into Iger. Now, in this case, I'm working with a lower foot control off of a motorcycle. I've designed this part and I'm ready to print. But if we look at the design, notice that there's no flat areas for me to really place this directly on the build bed. The orientation that I'm in is technically the best. But when you look at the internal view, and see the amount of supports that are being needed to print this part, you soon realize there's not really a good optimal orientation for this design. But switching your design just slightly by sectioning it up into two separate parts, printing those as two bodies and then bolting them together may give you the best of both worlds, allowing you to print a part while also not wasting time and support material in order for that part to be printed. And that's what we're going to be doing today inside of SolidWorks. To use a sectioning tool, all we need to do is have a part and have an established face or plane that we would like to section. In this particular example, this bottom face of the foot level lever is perfect for printing on. But the mounting attachment on the left hand side is what's really causing the support issue. This is a simple design change that I can do. All I need to do is create a hole and add a bolt through it. But for now, all I want is to section this part. To get started, I'm gonna choose on a face or plane in which to cut the part from. Next, I'll go into the insert, features, and split menu. What the split menu is going to allow me to do is cut the part based around the plane or face that I have selected. In our case, I'm going to choose the bottom and the top bracket and click OK. Inside of SOLIDWORKS, you'll now notice that we should have two bodies inside of our solid bodies folder. The arm and then the lower member. At this point in time, if I were to print this, and save this out as an STL, this would still be as two bodies. So to take this one step further and separate them out into two separate parts, all that's needed to do is simply right click on the Save Bodies folder and click Save Bodies. What this is going to allow us to do is save these out as separate part files inside of SOLIDWORKS. And from those separate part files, I can then import them into Iger as additional STLs. The great thing about the save bodies command is the ability to additionally create an assembly from these two separate parts so that we can see how the printed parts would ultimately go together. Maybe if you need to make an exploded view of the assembly of those parts. But for now, all that's left to do is click on save bodies and SOLIDWORKS will now generate out two additional part files for the brake lever. Now jumping back into Iger, I've actually imported those two separate part files and placed them onto a build bed. I was actually astonished by how much time was saved by doing this one simple step. Instead of our print being over a day and a half, we've actually reduced this down below about 20 hours. In this case, we're about 20 hours right here, as compared to the original design where we were at one day, 11 hours. So by doing using the simple split tool, we're able to save upwards of about 15 or so hours on just this one part. Just imagine how much time and material you could save by utilizing this in your workflow. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.